in Malcolm Gladwell's book, Outliers, which I just listened to for the first time after reading it back in 17. Um, by the way, it's, it's very much a worthwhile re-listen to or listen to or read for the first time. It, it really is a pretty amazing story-driven book, which we all love to hear stories, and Malcolm Gladwell knows how to tell a story. <clears throat> he identifies these few things that set up for these few people in our world who have been the outlier, outliers, the people who have just been so much better that everyone knows their names, the Bill Gates and Steve Jobs of the world. And he identifies these things that have put them in the place to succeed as wildly as they have. And he, he lays them out for us. There are things like circumstances, timing, ethnicity, and the all important 10,000 plus hours of doing your particular job. He says, so if, if those things are what lead to that success, then success is really a, like a predetermined event rather than something we should all cross our fingers and hope we get. Now, you say, well, maybe I'm not the right ethnicity, ethnicity, or maybe I'm not sure if the timing's right for me, or maybe the circumstances aren't right for me. That's easy for you to self-talk your way into that. But I would suggest, in particular in the sales world today, all of us have this opportunity to truly be outliers. And in this world of sameness in sales, it's even more magnified or the circumstances are set up so beautifully for us to do the simple things that allow us to be the outliers today. I'm gonna to lay them out for you. So the first one is hard work. That 10,000 plus hours isn't, isn't like a mistake, isn't like a rounding error, isn't like a sometimes thing. We need to be working harder than everybody else. If you're willing to do that, you're immediately gonna have an opportunity to set yourself apart from the rest. That's gonna be step one. Step two, and this is no surprise if you follow what we do, is I have to be able to articulate my message in a way that differentiates it from what else they have to choose from in the world that I present from. In other words, if you sell that product, other people sell that product too, how can your product differentiate? And it's done through the right questions you ask. And the questions you ask have to be asked in a way, asked in a way that the listener wants to answer them and wants to answer them fully. Because when they want to answer them and when they do answer them fully, you then have the ability to solve for the problem the way they want it solved. Otherwise, we ain't getting there. And so that's the importance of like, put those two things together. I'm working harder than everyone else and I'm solving more problems than anyone else. That says that if I do that, then my success is a certainty in this business. I'm not only gonna be like getting what I want, but I'm gonna be one of the outliers for that particular client who's working with me, because they're gonna recognize how much better we are, and then my entire firm is gonna recognize how much better I am than the rest of the group doing what, 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 what we're doing, because I'm taking two steps that guarantee with great certainty the success of my practice. Good selling, everybody.